see that video those kids from Orfield made? No, I haven't. You should check it out. Hello, my name is Jake and I'm your virtual reality host. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Ocean Spray, so let's get started. In order to make fantastic tasting and great quality juice, several steps are taken to complete the job. Did you know cranberries are grown and harvested at one of the many farms that own Ocean Spray? That's right, Ocean Spray is owned by the farmers and they are proud to say that all profits made get sent straight back to the businesses that help make up this nearly $2 billion company. After the cranberries are juiced, they are then delivered to the nearest manufacturing plant of nine that produces the juices. That's where Emma caught up with Mike Palazzi to tell us more about how Ocean Spray came to be. So Ocean Spray was formed in the 1930s by three original cranberry growers. So the original first product was cranberry sauce. And then they went into other products such as cranberry um, juice. And Ocean Spray actually produced the first shelf-stable juice throughout the world. That was a pretty nice history lesson. But how is the juice actually made? Great question, and here's the answer. This is the concentrate. Throughout the procedure, the concentrate is put into the vat called the mix tank. The concentrate is then diluted with water. Before being sent out to process line, we go into the coolest part of the facility, the taste testing and sampling lab. This is where we got to sample the juices and catch up with Ronnie Hawkins, or as we call him, the blender. We have concentrates that come in, we have flavors that are being sent from corporate that are sent down to us, and we print out a schedule of what we're gonna make for the day. We pull up a formula for that flavor, and it tells us the ingredients that's gonna go into it. Oh no, my VR headset is gonna die, and I never got to figure out what is so cool about manufacturing. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll figure out what is so cool with manufacturing after this interview. Uh, manufacturing to me has provided me with a career. I've gotten to take on several different roles within this facility. It's really nice at the end of the day to be able to see what your efforts do in a day and what you see at the back end, which is making products. After the Ocean Spray's desired mixture of the day is made, it is sent to a machine that is programmed to put a special amount of liquid into a bottle. The now full bottles head to packaging where they are sorted and wrapped for delivery to its buyers. Wow, Ocean Spray is really cool. Thanks, VR guy. 